All right, guys, place your bets now. Which one of our RLs is going to be the winner? And is going to be the loser? Boo. All right, stay tuned and find out. What's up, guys? Hersty's Garage Plus Guns here. And on today's daily dose of internet fun, I have a little article here from MotorBiscuit.com that uh, goes over the best used Honda Ridgeline pickup truck years. And of course, you're already going to know that it's going to be my 2008 Honda Ridgeline because uh, I bought it and it is the most awesomest thing in the world. I know that's not a thing, but yeah, to me, it is awesome. So if you have a 2008, you're already the winner. You can just shut off this video and go home. So anyway, <laughs> the uh, headline here is obviously the best used Honda Ridgeline pickup truck years. And what is the models for uh, your hunt there to avoid? The one model. So let's dig into it right now and find out who the winner is and who's going to be the loser. Boo! All right, so let's check it out. The best used Honda Ridgeline pickup truck years are easy to come by, but there is one year of this Honda truck to skip over. Those looking for a reliable pickup truck with a stress-free ownership experience, which I can attest it is, has two solid years to choose from. Okay, so they're gonna give us two of them. For the Honda Ridgeline years to show, to avoid, check out the other feature in this, I guess, uh, article, uh, Edmonds called Maddening. Um, 2011, let's do the drum roll. Brrr, yay, 2011 is one of the best used Honda Ridgeline pickup truck years. And I would imagine it is because it's more, uh, on the later side of the years uh, that uh, the truck came out because you that's usually how things go. When you get an early model or the first model of a year's uh, uh, manufacturing, uh, the uh, style of it, uh, it usually doesn't go well because uh, um, usually they have to work out the kinks first before they can... Uh, put out a, a reliable vehicle sometimes or most of the times. So that's why I think the 2011 is on here. Um, and uh, so if you have a 2011, you're the shiznits right now, because obviously I guess this is the, this is the one to get. Uh, they say when Edmonds rated the best used Honda Ridgeline, Ridgeline trucks, 2011 was a standout option. It offers an above average ride and quality Oh, and a comfortable cabin with plenty of room. The bed is dent resistant and the truck has a convenient two-way tailgate. And I think that's why a lot of us have got that. And if you watch one of my first videos that I ever did, I actually climb in the bed of our little uh, tailgate truck there. And that thing fits me inside. And I'm six foot, uh, about 170 five pounds. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm seven foot seven and weigh in about 400 pounds, you know, no, uh, but even my body frame fits into that sucker. So uh, it's awesome. Awesome. Uh, anyway, that's, I'm getting off track here. Honda's pickup truck isn't the most capable truck on the market. That's blasphemy. You don't ever say that guys, come on now, but it's suitable for everyday work and play. Which I totally agree. Yes. If you're not going to be going deep in the, the woods, uh, hanging with the, uh, old, uh, Jeep Wrangler, uh, Wranglers out there, uh, and no offense to us, uh, but, uh, that's, we're just, uh, not in that category there. Uh, a 3.5 liter V6 with 250 horsepower and a 247 pound feet of torque comes all, um, on all trim levels and all wheel drive is standard. And that is exactly why I got that sucker because uh, that all wheel drive system in our RLs there is superb. I love it. Get out anything. Um, 
Let's see, reliability with a strong suit for this used Honda Ridgeline pickup truck. The Insurance Institute, Institute for Highway Safety gave this 2011 pickup truck good scores on the performance tests. Uh, Anti-lock brakes, airbags, and 5,000 pound tow limit are additional positives. And I will say yes, on that reliability standard, mine has been uh, A1. Uh, you look on the used prices on these suckers, and they're going for absolutely crazy amounts of, of uh, the dollar signs because these things are so reliable and they usually have like 300,000 miles on them. You're like, I want to pay 15 grand for a car that's, or a truck that's like 15 years old and the, the sucker's uh, got 330,000 miles on it. What? But that's how reliable they are. So, uh, and then... Like I said, the uh, uh, the performance tests on there, their anti-lock brakes, yeah, I've never had a problem with those. Those are awesome. The extra airbags, I will, uh, the okay, yeah, they have, do have a lot of the uh, side impact airbags and all that crap. But I will say they did fall underneath the Takata airbag uh, recall. So if you have an RL, just make sure that that sucker has been in the dealership to get the, those, uh, I think it's the, well, actually, I think it is the driver and the passenger side airbags. Uh, both are from Dakota and they need to get the heck out of there so you are safe. So that was just a little side note there. But yeah, I, on the airbags, I uh, give it a kind of a medium score because uh, it's not the RL's fault. But uh, yeah, that does, the original ones needed to take a hike. Uh, and then that 5,000 pound towing capacity for such a little tiny, tiny truck. It is freaking awesome. I mean, just A plus there. So let's, ah, uh, and I already ruined it. I scrolled down there. Let's see what the next absolutely A plus one is. And I believe this one might be the overall winner. So drum roll, please. And it is a 2020. Regarding the 2020 Ridgeline, Edmund reports that it has a superior ride and handling due to the new independent rear suspension. The two-way tailgates and lockable area under the bed are still around and still noted to be the highlights. And really, the, to me, the, the most change that, that happened was the styling. And that's why I kind of went with the older styling because I love that uh, little spot in the back here uh, on the screen there, that little hump that is not there with the new one. And I know a lot of people go, God, I hated that style, but ah, that just, it, it made the truck. So uh, the 2020, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, and it's all fine and dandy. I guess it looks like it says uh, Honda's upgraded all wheel drive system makes most trains manageable. Uh, this version has a 5,000 pound maximum towing rating. Uh, rating that drops to the 3,500 pounds with a with the all-wheel drive option, hmm. and I don't think that's uh, necessarily the same with uh, the uh, earlier years because mine didn't state that, so that, that must be new. Uh, I guess with the uh, the upgraded all-wheel drive system. So uh, kind of, I'm thinking the two, 2011 won this this deal here. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. What's what's your favorite uh, year Honda Ridgeline? Because maybe these guys are full of, you know what? Um, I'm kind of thinking so because I, like I said, I like my 2008. But let's see here. I, I, IIHS gave the 2020 Honda Ridgeline the top safety pick, hmm, while the National Highway Tra Traffic Safety Administration gave it five stars. Apple Clip. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration add to the list of pros for this used Honda Ridgeline, which if you've seen some of my past videos, my Ridgeline has the same thing because I did a little aftermarket uh, remodel there and uh, it's easy as pie and you can do it too. So if you want to skip back to some of my earlier uh, videos, I might put some in the description below there. So you can uh, possibly do that to yours and get that up there to that uh, 2020 styling. So let's see. Oh, gosh, here we go. What? This is the last one. What year is the ridge line that we should be avoiding? And that goes to 
the 2018. Oh, boo. And that must be when they changed uh, one of the year uh, styling, I guess. Uh, let's see what it says. If you're looking for the best used Honda Ridgeline pickup truck, do not go to the 2018 because it isn't. Priced similarly to the 2020 version, but it's arguably less reliable. Edmonds, well, and that's obviously the, the case. Uh, I figured it must not uh, be uh, very good with the, uh, the old keeping it on the road thing. Edmonds reports that the touchscreen and navigation interface is maddening and the driver's aids are too frustrating to be beneficial. Okay. Uh, let's see. Honda didn't include much in the way of standard safety features. Forward collision warning, blind spot warning, and automatic emergency braking are only optional. Yeah, that sucks. The, NH uh, the NHTSA gave it mostly five stars, and the IIHS made it a top safety pick, but it still lacked in some areas. So I let's see, when, when it comes down to it, the best hunt used with a Ridgeline truck is the ones you can get a hold of. Used car prices remain high. I told you earlier, yeah, it's nuts out there. And uh, that's how a testament to how good these these trucks are, um, which has made shopping for car ha cars harder. But that should start to level off soon. Don't be afraid to expand your search to get a better deal. And uh, yeah, Hershey's Garage says that uh, 2008 Honda Ridgeline is a real winner. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, like I said, let me know if you, uh, down in the comments below, if, uh, you think these guys are, are crazy or, or what, uh, or if it's spot on, uh, and tell me about your truck. I love to, love to, uh, hear about them. Uh, and so do the other, uh, Ridgeline owner families there. And, uh, if you want to send me, uh, some pictures of those, uh, Ridgelines and, uh, some of the souped up stuff you got in there and all that, uh, definitely that is a... Uh, very good option and uh, I'll link my uh, email down there and uh, uh, maybe we uh, will show that on uh, some, some uh, future video uh, some of their other Ridgeline owner rides and uh, we can kind of do some gloating on uh, how good our vehicles are so all right guys I uh, will see you on the next video and uh, I love you guys Go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and share the crap out of it because that's the way it all gets uh, uh, put out there. Um, so, all right, guys, love you. Enough of yapping, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Hey, dudes and dudettes. You ever wish you could harness the power of the sun in your headlights? Well, now you can with Oxito. If you're in need of changing out your lights, whether it is your low beams or high beams or fog lights or whatever, uh, I would give Oxido a chance uh, because uh, so far it seems like this is a pretty dang good product. You can see the difference is like night and day. There's a little package of sun in here. I mean, it is the, the uh, uh, old ones aren't anywhere close to what these ones do uh, as far as the light output. So give these guys a chance if you would. And if you want to and save yourself a bunch of money, go ahead, I, like I said, and use that coupon code Hursty's Garage and that will save you 15% off your order. Uh, and you won't be disappointed.